Hello, everyone. Welcome. We will get started very shortly. I feel like a real teacher. I've got like a drink, just walking in, <laughs> taking roll. <laughs> Today we're going to be covering quoting forms. So I've got a brand new lesson prepared. All right, Zilly, welcome. Zilly is our uh, moderator here. I'm not sure if Ahimong is here. Samantha Schmitz, one time you mentioned a website that'll show how to pronounce words from an actual Korean speaker. Do you remember what website that is? Yes, that's a Naver Dictionary. And I'm actually, I, I'm emailing with them. I'm trying to make a video actually specifically about Naver Dictionary because of how useful it is. Uh, I haven't made it yet though, I'm just planning it. But yeah, Naver Dictionary has everything. So check that out. You can put in any word. It has to be the regular word. You know, you can't just type in a sentence and it'll pronounce it. It's actually just a native pronouncing it. If you need more than that, if you wanna hear actual pronunciation of a sentence, then just throw the sentence into Google Translate and push the speaker icon because Google Translate has a machine voice. It will be accurate pronunciation, though it won't be native quality. It sounds robotic. But if, you ju if you're just kind of curious about the general pronunciation, it's still okay. Oh, and secretive 33. Yes. Welcome back, Mary Liz, as well. Carminas, as well. Ahimong. Welcome, Ahimong. Yes, today we're going to be covering quoting forms. But before we get started with the lesson, you make videos earlier. I might, I might change them for season two. We'll see. But for this season, they're all going to be at this time. Um, first of all, is that actually right about that is season one. This is the current live streams I'm doing every single week is, is this is all season one. And the last episode of season one will be, I believe, December 16th. So next month, the 16th. That's so everyone can take a break for Christmas, New Year's. You don't have to worry about coming to live streams every week also so I can take a break to work on some other projects. And then we'll start season two after. So it could be January or as late as February. We'll do season two. And season two will be different types of topics. So we'll still be doing live streams, but we might be doing, I don't know, maybe more intermediate level stuff or maybe some more detailed stuff. It'll depend on what you guys want. But in the meantime, starting from that week, I believe the end of season one, starting from that week, I'm going to be uploading, and my members already know this, but uh, if you're not a member, so some people have asked me to make, like, Billy, you should make summary version of the live streams. They're too long, you know, people who are really busy, or they just want a quick review. I've started editing, and I have two of them done, and I'll, I'll work on all of them, abridged versions of these live streams. So when you come to the live stream, it takes about, you know, two hours or so for the whole class. but if you cut away all of the audience participation I have, all of the quizzes I give you, all of the extra example sentences I give you, and all of the dead space, like preparing, like what we're doing right now, we're not talking about the lesson yet. If you cut all of it away, you're left with about, mm, about 20 minutes of actual, just the lesson content, if you cut away all that. So I've been able to edit them down. I have two of them done so far and I'll do all of them. Once a week, I'll try to upload abridged versions of these live lessons. That way you can watch them as review before we start season two. For pronunciation, there's also Forvo. That's right, Forvo has some words. Um, be careful though, because I've heard some pronunciation on Forvo that's not done by natives. So you have to be, you have to check who's actually doing it because anyone can submit. So I remember looking up some words on Forvo because I was curious what 
Formo was and found some sentences, some words that were not pronounced. They had like non-native speakers pronouncing it. So you have to be careful about that. How do I become a member? Uh, if you have a join button on YouTube right below this video, then you can do that. If not, then Patreon. I think Patreon works in every country. Ehimang, <laughs> happy sixth anniversary on YouTube. Oh, that's true. Is today my sixth year anniversary? Is this, has this been six years since I started YouTube? I, I know it's November. It was November, 2012. But is this the actual six year anniversary? My present to you is my grade eight comedy for another six year. Oh no. Can I, re <laughs> can I refund that? It's not the 19th there, but it is in Korea. Oh yeah, that's, is it, was it the 19th? How'd you know that it was the 19th? Was that my first video upload that day? Anyway, thanks. Hey, Himan six. Nice. Oh, and the other, the other announcement I have is uh, two more. One is join the discord. We now have right now there's a current, there's about, you know, a hundred members who are currently active, but I think total we're reaching a thousand members in that discord. So it's pretty active all the time. And I'm in there. People you can ask Korean questions to are in there. Other Korean learners, K-pop fans, everything you can interact with other people in there. So check that out. There's links in the description. I say this every time. There's lots of links in the description. So check it out. Join your about page. Oh, okay. Yeah. That was probably the same day or the day right before I uploaded the video. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So we'll post a Discord link in the description. Uh, sorry, in the chat. So check that out. And... I got new markers and new racers finally. So look at all these, look at all these. Yeah, I got these, I got this. I still haven't got the other 10 I ordered. So I ordered 10 more that haven't arrived yet. I don't know if they'll, if or when those will ever get here, but at least I have this one. I got some board cleaner, so I cleaned the board. And uh, I'm not using the new markers yet because the old ones, I just, I threw away the old ones that didn't work. So the only ones here now are the ones that work. And then once these die, like for example, when this blue one dies, I have a new blue marker. So you can see the old blue, which is what I'm using currently. I'll throw it away when it dies. It's kind of dying. And then the new blue and see, look how, look how much nicer that is. Look how thicker and cleaner that is. So I don't want to throw away the old ones yet because they still work, but when they start dying, I'll just chuck them and I have new ones. There's also Z Korean. Z Korean pay a membership. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, but none of that is necessary because you can do it for free on Naver. So there's no reason to pay for word pronunciation because it's all free. Let me just mute my phone. <laughs> probably, probably one of you guys sending a, a message on Instagram. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about quoting forms. Now, what is quoting form? You probably are aware it's things like I said, he said, she said, but it's, it's not just that the quoting form in Korean is used whenever you're going to be using quotation marks. So anything that somebody said, or like we learned last time, thought, remember, do you remember last time? So for those of you who are here or who, who are here, <laughs> who were here last live class, we learned about how to do conjugation with thinking. 생각하다. 생각하다. To think, right? We learned the two different forms. Well, what we learned was you can say like, I think that uh, Billy is cute. Let's do that. Billy oh, I don't want to write my name in red. Oh my gosh, it works. It actually erases. Let's do black. Okay. So for example, and this is important. This actually directly relates to what we're learning. And how did we say, I think that Billy's cute? Well, remember it's the ta go ending. So we have for a descriptive verb, that's just the descriptive verb. We don't have to do anything else to it. And then we can say, hopefully that's all on the screen for you guys. Yes. Okay. So you can say, well, what you're doing actually with this form is, you're actually making a quote. You're actually making a quote when you say, 
I think that Billy is cute because what you're actually saying is, see, the only problem with the uh, cleaning the board is that before there was all this like residue that would just stay on the board and you wouldn't notice it, but now I totally notice it. So it's kind of maybe a negative thing to making the board clean. Anyway, so so you actually what you're saying is, I think, comma, in English, this is what you would say, Billy is cute. You're actually making a quote here. Instead of saying, I said Billy's cute, or I heard, or I yelled, right? You're saying, or I whispered, you're saying, I think Billy is cute. And the quoting forms that we're gonna be learning today, at least one of them, one of the quoting forms for to say is the exact same thing as you learn for think. It's the exact same form because you're doing this. When you say, I think, um, I like BTS. You'd say BTS를 좋아한다고 생각해요, as we learned last week. Well, what if you wanted to say, I said that I like BTS? It's the exact same thing. All you have to do is change this verb from think to say. And the verb for to say is 말 or 말을 is optional. I recommend not using it, but just know that it's normally there. My means words or speak and hada. Hada means to do. So together, mar hada, literally to do words or to speak, to do speaking. So instead of senga kada, I think change this to mar hada, to speak. And now we can get the exact same sentence. Billy ga kyopta go or BTS ru chowahanda go. I said Billy is cute or I said I like BTS or whatever your example sentence is. So this form that we learned last week and we'll, I'll cover it again today is very versatile and we can just swap out the verb and we can get all sorts of different quoting forms. But this is only one of the four types of quoting forms we're going to be learning today. And I'll show you. So there's actually four. Don't think this is only a lesson about one quoting form. Okay, let's just check here for a second. Expressing such shock at an eraser doing what it should do. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, so. There are actually four types of quoting forms that you, need to, that you need to know. And other lessons might, I don't know, depending on what resources you're learning, you might only have learned one, which is the one that I just mentioned. There's actually four. So you can say something to say something is, like it is or isn't. That's considered a statement. So like, for example, our sentence, I said Billy is cute. That's just a statement, Billy is cute. or I, I didn't say I like BTS, right? You're just a statement. You're saying, I did not like BTS. I do like BTS. I didn't like BTS. I didn't do it. I am smart. I am dumb. Anything you're just saying, quoting, all of that is just considered to be a statement. And that's only one form of quoting. There are a lot of other forms that we're going to be learning that you could learn, but three that we're going to be learning today. Statement is just one. Another one is a question. For example, um, when your quote includes a question, when your quote ends in like a period or an exclamation mark or something like that, that's just a statement. You're saying, I said I like that, or I yelled no, or did you say something? That's just a statement. But when, you, when the quote itself, within the quotes, if it has a question mark, that's a different form. Because what you're saying is, you're not just saying, I said something, or did you say something, or I didn't say something. What you're saying is, I asked, or did you ask? There's a different verb involved. So when you're asking something that's in quotes, you need to use a different form. So we'll talk about that too. Another one is suggestions. Suggestions is when you're saying, let, specifically when you're saying, let's do something. And in Korean, you only need to learn one form for that. And that's the word, well, not, that's not true. For this, for this form, you only need to associate one form with this type of quoting. And that's the cha. 
So like, Hadza, let's do it. Hadza, let's do it. And this is only casual. So this is only with your friends, but when using, when used with suggestions, you can make this used to anybody. You can use this for your boss. You can use this for your friend or someone you've just met. But if you use it just like this, though, it's only for casual use. It's only for your closest friends. So if you were to saying, Hadza, let's do it, or Hadza, let's go. Like this normal form means let's go. And it's, you know, for friend, it's something you'd only say to your close friends. But you can also make quotes that use these type of suggestions. For example, I said, let's go. I said, let's not go. Did you say, let's eat? Things like these, these are all suggestions. And these use a slightly different form of quoting. Now, I've already given three. You might be thinking there's like three crazy rules to learn for all of these. No, there's actually only one. You, if you learn the basic statement form, how this works, these other ones kind of match. These will all fall into place for you. You'll kind of, it'll, it'll click. So I'll explain that. And finally, commands. Specifically, th these will use da, which is normally not used in Korean. It's a very strong, rude form of commanding someone to do something. Like, hara, do it. It sounds very biblical. So people don't actually speak like that. Um, let's make sure oh, stream health is looking pretty good. Okay. Do you have autofocus on? Uh, it's focusing on you and then the board. I think it might be. I thought I disabled it last week. Is it is it really bad? What do you think, Ahimong? Should I try disabling it? Because I don't know. I think I disabled it last time, but I don't know if the settings saved. Okay, so yeah, the, and someone said you can't add the yo form. The ja is only casual. That's right. This, this form ja is only used with friends. There is no way to modify it to be used with other people. You can't just add yo to the end. Ha ja yo makes no sense. Um, but with quoting, it can be polite because it's within a quote. When you make a, when you make a quote in Korean, it doesn't matter what's between the quotes. It could be, uh, as long as it's not a swear, it can be, you know, do that or don't go or let's go. Anything in the quotes is fine. It doesn't make your sentence rude in this case, because you're just quoting what you or someone else said. So you can say to your boss or to your teacher, someone who you'd normally be very respectful to, you could say, Hey teacher, let's go eat. Like normally you can say it with a different form, politely. Teacher, let's go eat together. And your teacher says, what'd you say? You say, oh, I said, pop mokta. With this casual form, you can use it in the quote, in a quoting form. And it's okay because the rest of your sentence will still be polite. You'll still end your sentence with you, you know, something, something, soyo, whatever you're using. You can still make it polite. The quoting can be whatever you want. And then, yeah, command. So I said, do it. I said, don't do it. Did you say go? Anything like that will be in a command. So if the quote that's in, if the Korean that's inside of the quote is a command, you'll use this form. If the Korean inside is a suggestion, you'd use this form. If it's a question, you'd use this form. If it's just a statement, you'd use this form. And these are the four forms we're going to learn today. The first one being statements. And as I mentioned, it's, this is actually the exact same form that we already learned with thinking. But there's more to it. There's more to it, but the form is the same. So if you are familiar with, if you remember from last week's, sometimes the settings can go low. Okay, let me check that really quick. Let me check to see if the uh, web camera settings changed for this. Oh yeah, it did. Okay. All right, I disabled autofocus. Hopefully that'll fix it. We'll see. Okay. Um, I'm going to do a very basic review of plain form because I don't want to do it again. Well, we already spent a lot of time in it last time. So for a statement, to make a statement quote, it's very easy. It's the same thing as we learned for Sengakada from last week's stream. You take the plain form and you attach go, and then you attach your verb, which in this case, for starting, we'll just use marhada as we just went over, to speak or to say. So you would use this if you wanted to say like, I said something or he said something, she said, that's what she said. Did you say something? Anything with us to say as the verb, you use marhada, but we have other choices. So as I told you already, you could use sengakada. I thought, quote unquote, 
Billy is weird. Did you think something or anything like that? You can switch this verb out, but the basic form is just plain form plus cool. So let's quick review the plain form. I'm not going to talk about it at all in detail this time because we already did it before. So you just take a verb stem. This is just a quick refresher and you attach if it's an action verb, you attach, sorry, yeah, a nian if it ends in a vowel, or a nun if it ends in a consonant, and then you attach ta. For a descriptive verb, so this is action verb. For a descriptive verb, you don't, you just leave it alone. So it's, if the descriptive verb is uh, shipta, to be easy, the Plain, pl pl plain form, the plain form conjugation, if it's a descriptive verb, is just the descriptive verb. So just shipta. You don't have to do anything to it. So that's all I'm going to cover today. Um, you can please watch the previous video for a review of the plain form because I don't want to spend too much time on it or we won't have time to actually do today's lesson. So that was a very quick review of it. So plain form, just like last week, and you attach cool. Then marhada. So you can say any quote, any sort of quote you want. Like I said this, did you say this? Anything with quotes that's not a question, not a suggestion, or not a command. Just like this. So, for example, let's let's make this sentence. In fact, this is so easy conjugation. If you were here last live stream, uh, if you missed last live stream, I'm sorry. Please maybe open that video and do a quick review or even my regular learn Korean episode about plain form is probably fine too. I think that's like five minutes long. So let's make the sentence. I said, I want to go. This one I'll do, but I have some that I'd like you guys to do coming up soon. Let's see here. I really appreciate all you've been doing for the Korean learners community. I am a low intermediate leader, so I use these streams to fine tune my skills. Buy all the erasers and pens you want. Keep it up. Oh, Ajeshi. Is that supposed to be Ajeshi? It's Ajeshi. Ajeshi, thanks. Ajeshi. Awesome. Wow, thank you. I don't need new I don't need new markers yet, but I know once I finish uh, killing my previous markers, which they are slowly dying, I'll buy some more. I'm gonna buy a bun another pack of four of these new ones, which I got because these ones work really well. Awesome, thank you. So let me just check the chat really quick for a second. Kaikaiyo is more like a question, I think, not a statement. Oh yeah, some people are talking about that. Um, Kaikaiyo would not be one of these forms that we're gonna be learning today. For, for that, for, that would be more of a suggestion. Um, but for that, you would probably switch it into a question form or into a uh, suggestion form. So that would be up to you. Do you want to use the question form for that or the suggestion form for that? So you mainly only need to learn these four forms for how to do quoting. So for statements, I said, I want to go. It helps when you're learning this form to add in quotation marks so that when you conjugate, it's easier to think of how to do the grammar. So let's just add in quotation marks. So what you're saying is, I said, I want to go. So how do we say I want to go in Korean? Normally with kago shipta. Kago shipta would be the basic form for I want to go. You know, kada to go. Ko shipta for want to. So to do that, you know, you remove the ta. And then you would conjugate it to kago shipoyo or kago shipsimnida or kago shimneo, whatever form you want to say normally. But for plain form, we don't do that. Plain form, shipta, and I talked about this last stream as well. Shipta is a descriptive verb. So it's done. Kago shipta is done. All we do is now we have the plain form. Kago shipta ko, right? We attach ko. And then I said. Well, I said is past tense of mal hada, and the past tense of hada is hessoyo or hetta, depending, you know, hessumnida, any conjugation you want. So let's just do hessoyo because it's easiest. Mal hessoyo. 
If you want to include I, like you want to say, I said that, you know, you, you can just say this by itself, you're fine. It's probably going to be understood that you said that because in context, they'll know you're talking about yourself. It would, this say, this whole quite, this whole sentence in the first place would only come up after they've heard you say something or, you know, someone heard you say something. So you don't really need to say I, but if you do, you can add in Cholnen. I think this pen is dying. I think this pen's dying. Should we say goodbye to this pen and introduce the new blue one? So I feel like it's it's kind of going out. Like it's it's good at the beginning and then it slowly dies. Book T, my brain is officially fried. Check out last week's stream where we cover the plain, plain form. Because if this is your first time seeing the plain form, then this grammar to begin with is going to be above your level. And it might not be a very fun lesson. <laughs> Rip pen. Okay, I think we're going to say bye-bye to this pen because... I think it's kind of going out. So at least for the time being. Oh wait, that's the wedding theme. Okay, so now we have the new pen. So you could say I said, literally, I want to go, is what I said. So let's do another sentence. I'll have a couple that I want you guys to make. Because I'm not used to this eraser working. Okay. Did you say, let, now let, let's change this. Let's make this into a different kind of statement. This time we're asking someone a question, but it's still a statement. So we're still saying somebody said something, um, but we're asking if somebody said something. But what, there's, what they said was not a question. So I'll, I'll show you what I mean. Oh my goodness, look how dark this is. Look how nice and easy to read that is. So let's do this. Did you say, I like kimchi? So in English, we have to put quotes after the question mark for, you know, for writing purposes. But what they're saying is not a, what they're saying is not a question. The quotation inside of these, the sentence inside of quotes is not a question, right? This thing is just a statement. Basically it's, I said, I like kimchi. And someone says, oh, did you say I like kimchi? So the question is actually asking someone, did you say, right? Did you say that? What? I like kimchi, right? So this is not a question. This is still, we're still working with statements here. But now our whole sentence is going to be a question. So first we need to take this part. I like kimchi. Uh, 저는, or let's just do 제가 kimchi. There. 좋아, oops, 좋아, 하다, 하다 is just the verb, regular verb form of to like. So normally we would conjugate this and say, 제가 김치를 좋아해요. I like kimchi. But plain form, we need the plain form to make this into a quote. So we turn this into the plain form and we get, well, first we remove the ta. It ends in a vowel. So we just add a nian and ta. So 좋아한다. Now we attach ko and malhada. So in this case, it's did you say? So it's still past tense, but it's past tense now as a question. So mal hesoyo, just like before. Remember in Korean, you don't have to reorganize anything to make a question. You just stick a question mark at the end and out and change your intonation to go up like a question. And now you have a question. So 제가 김치를 좋아한다고 말했어요? Did you say that I like kimchi? Did you say 말했어요? I like 제가 김치를 좋아한다고? You know, quotes here in English. I'm just putting them here, though you wouldn't have quotes like this in Korean. But in English, we're just, I'm just kind of putting this to show you how it's a quote. So 제가 김치를 좋아한다고 말했어요? Did you say I like kimchi? Did you say that I like kimchi? And if you were to change this, you just remove the question and make it a period, you would get 제가 김치를 좋아한다고 말했어요. You said, or you know, I said, depending on the context, that I like kimchi. And that's all there is to it. That's all there is to this form, kind of. So let me look at the chat for just a moment. Is there a space between the plain form and ko? Um, no, this becomes one piece. So there's not a space between the plain form and ko. So yeah, it's just 좋아한다고. This would be all one piece. 좋아한다고. 
there will be a space between ku and the verb you use after. In this case, marhada. Okay. Sega kimchi ru jwahada. Well, you wouldn't say 17 rad ways to stand kim tae. <laughs> it's a long name. You wouldn't just say kimchi ru sega kimchi ru jwahada ever because just jwahada is just the verb uh, the dictionary form of the verb that you would find in a dictionary, but it's unconjugated. So it would have to be, you'd have to conjugate it in some way to use it here. And that conjugation is plain form. So, chowahanda. Go malhesoyo. Okay. Oh, and this one even erases easier than the, the other one. Oh, I like it. Okay. Next sentence. One more. Um, please say... I love you. You know, this, this, this would probably be, I'll just write it like this. This would probably be a line that you could find in uh, one of those sappy Korean romance dramas, right? So please say, I love you. Please say that I love you. You know, like someone's walking away. She's like, wait, no, please say I love you or something like that, right? <laughs> so we're going to need a different ending for the please part because we're asking a request. But again, this is just a statement. Please say, I love you, right? So how do we say, first of all, let's do our quote. So I love you would just be 사랑해요, right? Normally, 사랑해요, which comes from 사랑하다, to love. I shouldn't use the pointy part. That's hard to write. Okay, so 사랑하다 is normally just I love you. So we need to say, please say this. So let's make it into a quote. Well, 사랑하다, let's make it in the plain form. Again, 사랑한다고. And then 말하다 would be to say. In this case, we need to say please say. So uh, I'm not teaching about how to say the please form in this lesson. I can do that in the future. I think that's actually one of the possible voting options. So maybe next week. So 말해 주세요. 말해 주세요 means literally please say. So 사랑한다고 is the quoting part. I love you. 말해 주세요. Please say I love you. Please say in quotes. I love you. So we're still working with statements, even though now we're, we're asking someone to do something. The quote itself is still just a regular statement. So it's very easy to work with these. Ajashi. Ajashi just became a member too. Awesome. Put that member mark there. Welcome to the family, Ajashi. <laughs> I keep saying Ajashi, even though you wrote it Ajedshi. Suggestions and statements, the same thing. No, suggestions and statements are different, and we'll learn that next. That's right. Okay, so now I'd, I have one that I'd like you guys to try making. Well, let me just check how am I on time. 2.30. Okay, we got to hurry up. There's no time. Okay, quiz. So this is a quiz for you all. I said, how would you say this? There's no time. Actually, I'm going to remove this and make it harder. There's no time. So to say time, I'm just, I'll write these for those of you who are, you know, just kind of, you, so you don't have to worry about the vocabulary. Time is shigan. There's no would be shigan. You'd use the verb opta. So you could say shigani opta would be to be no time or to not exist any time, literally. So how would you say, I said there's no time? I said there's no time. So like you would tell your friend, ah, oh, shigani opsoyo, shigani opsoyo, there's no time. And your friend would say, what did you say? Then you're going to repeat back to him or her. I said there's no time. How would you do that? You guys are fast. Shigani opdago barasoyo. Isangi nim, nice. Ah, well, you have a typo there. Op, oh, sayo should be malheso o. Other than that, yep. Shigani opdago hetsanayo. Quasarain, yes, that's fine too. 시간이 없, 시간 없다고 말했어요. 시간이 없다 말했어요. 없다고? Yep. Oh, nice, nice. 이상인, yeah, nice fix. 시간 없다고 말했잖아. Okay, you can, you can add in other things if you like. 시간이 없다고 말했어요. 시간 없다고 했어요. Seriously, everybody's so fast. 
I think I think that's a good sign though. I think that means you guys have got it if you're really fast. Okay, the correct answer is well, there's lots of correct answers, but the correct basic answer, correct answer is shigani opta. Remember, opta is a descriptive verb, and the plain form of opta is just opta. So all you do is you tats cool, and then said malhesoyo. Malhesoyo. So I said there is no time. Great, you guys are getting the hang of this. Okay, next one. I want you guys to make this. Let me just check a couple more. Real LJH. You wrote opsunda. However, uh, I just explained that though. Opta itself is a descriptive verb, so it doesn't need to conjugate as opsunda. Ellen Fritsch, shigun, typo there. Malhasoyo, should be malhesoyo. So I think it's just a couple typos there, but you have it. Zilly. Zilly, happy happy early anniversary on YouTube from your mod. I've learned so much from your videos and content. P.S. Shout out for my birthday. When's your <laughs> when's your birthday? Is that your birthday today? Narmeen Jo, I'm going to sleep. All right, have a good night. Zilly, awesome, thanks. And happy birthday. I, I assume it's it's also your birthday too. Oh, awesome, cool, cool. Yeah, happy birthday. Dab for your birthday. <laughs> right, I gotta do the, the, the long dab, right? The, the far dab, this one. <laughs> okay, so the next one is, I said I want to learn Korean. How would you say that? <gasps> oh yeah, that fell really fast. Okay. Oh no, I got some, I got some marker on my pants. Hold on. I said I want to learn Korean. Learn Korean is Hangugo Peuda. I think I'm gonna hold on, let me just try to see if I can wipe my pants real quick so it doesn't stain. Try to try to think of how you would say this sentence. I'll be right back. Okay, we're good. We're in business. Okay, maybe using a maybe using toilet paper to wipe my pants wasn't the best idea, but I fixed it with a regular towel, so we're good. <laughs> okay. Hangoru peugo shitago maras isangi. You also wrote malhesa yo again. Should be malheso yo. So hangoru peugo shitago hangoru peugo shitago maraseo. Nice, nice. Hangoru peugo shitago maraseo. Hangoru peugo shitago maraseo. Hangoru peugo shitago maraseo. Uh, that would just mean I, I am learning Korean. So, Sam Strongarm, that's correct too. It doesn't mean I want to learn Korean, but I am learning Korean, so it's okay. Nice. Nice, you've been. I'll just see. That's okay too, yeah. Okay, okay, I'm not gonna read all of them because I wanna make sure we can go through the lesson. But yes, in general, you guys are very doing very good. So, but we're not done here. Um, I'm going over the time. So, I said that we can replace malhada with any verb that you want. So, malhada is just to, st is just, just means to say, you know, to speak or to say something. But when you're writing your essays, you know, for school and your teach you write an essay in high school and, and you write, he said, then I said, then we said, your teacher's gonna get upset for if you keep using the word said, right? It's kind of boring. And in conversation too, if you're saying like, oh, I said this, and then he said that, and then I said this, and then he said that, it's really boring, right? We, what would we do in English to fix that? Well, we would switch and use different, ver different verbs. Like, well, I told him to do that, but then he said no. So I replied that. 
But then he came back with, you know, we, we changed it using lots of different verbs and Korean would do the exact same thing. So a few other common verbs I did want to show you is one of them would be, you know, first of all, you can do 외치다. 외치다 would be like shout or yell. So if you wanted to yell something, you use this exactly the same way as 말하다 in the exact same grammar, but you just switch the verb 말하다 for 외치다. And now you can yell any quote that you want, as long as it's a statement. So it still has to be a statement. You wouldn't yell. Um, actually, you could yell the other things too. You could yell questions, right? You can yell a suggestion and you can yell a command. Okay, so learn these words that we're, we're going to do here. Um, this one would be whispering. So if you wanted to be like, hey, I said, uh, welcome to Go Billy ASMR lesson. You would, if you're going to whisper something, you can also whisper a question. You can whisper a suggestion or whisper a command. So these verbs, you can use these verbs with any of the four forms that we're going to be learning today just to describe how you did them. Are you just saying them or are you yelling them or are you whispering them? But we're not done. Uh, let's do this. Okay. Tonhada. This is a really useful word. Useful one. Tonhada literally means to convey, like to convey information. But it's used normally in Korean just to mean to tell someone something. To sell to tell someone for someone else. So, kind of like saying to let someone know. Like, if you wanted to tell your friend, like, hey, please tell Charsu. Um, please tell Charsu I have time on Sunday. Please tell Charsu for me, for someone else, here it's me. Please tell someone, Charsu, for me that I have time on Sunday. This would be the one you'd use. You, you could use Malhada, like, please tell him, please say to him. But that would be like saying, please say to Charsu that I have time on Sunday. It's a little boring. You want to just say, please tell him or let him know, right? Convey that information to him. And you can use chon hada. And I'll give you an example of that because chon hada is extremely useful and very commonly used. So let's say, tell, let's just use that sentence. Tell, tell Charsu I have time on Sunday. So Charsu si Ante or ege. This is just to. Oh, in Korean, whenever you're telling something to someone, you have to say to. So in English, we don't always do that. We might just say tell him, tell charsu. But in Korean, anytime you're conveying information, it has to be tell to charsu, tell to him. So always use to. Just write that down in your notes. For any sort of communication, you have to mark who it is that you're telling it to with to. We can't use the object marker because the object marker is what actually is being told. So you have to do it to Charsu. Uh, let's say I have time on Sunday. So actually that would be Monday. So I have time on Sunday to Charsu. On Sunday, there is time. Cool. So now we have a quote. So I'll, I'll mark it here so you can kind of see it like this. And then, 전 해주세요. Or if you're not too familiar with the 해주세요 form, you can just write it as 전 했어요. Uh, I told him. Just another way to think about it. In case you're, in case you're seeing this 해주세요 and you're like, oh, I don't really feel comfortable with that form. How is Billy using that? Just think of it like this. John I you already told him. So, Charsu siante. What did you tell him? To Charsu, well I told him, ilyoile on Sunday, shigani itta. Ko ton hesoyo. Ton hejuseyo. Please tell Charsu for me or for someone that there is time on Sunday. Super useful verb. It's right there. Make a correction there. I wrote the wrong day on here, but I'll fix that for the uh, outline when I upload that later. 
Wait, wait, wait. Someone gave a donation. I didn't acknowledge it. Saram. Saram. Sorry. Yeah, I that must have been right when I was doing this part. Saram. Use this to wash your pants. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, thanks. Thanks, Saram. I guess. My, pa my pants are pretty clean, though. Uh, my pants are fairly... Oh, wait. That's, that's not the dolly. That's the... That's the E. That's that currency. Um, no, my pants are actually pretty clean. I first tried to wash them with toilet paper and water, and the toilet paper just crumbled everywhere and got toilet paper all over my pants. So then I'm like, okay, fine. So I just took my regular, the towel I used to dry my hands and put soap on it and just washed it properly. And that, that came right out, I hope. Oh no, I can still kind of see it a little bit. Eh, that should be okay. It's blue and my pants are blue. Worst case scenario, I'll just color the rest of my pants blue so it all blends in. Okay. I know you might be thinking, Billy, we still have three more forms to go. You're taking so long on this first form, but that's on purpose. I actually have until at least until three o'clock to finish this one form because once you've learned how to do statements, a lot of the same concepts, the, pretty much all the same concepts apply to the other forms. So you'll see this whole first page is just statements form. The second page will go into all three of the other forms and some other notes because these ones are the most, this one's the most important. And if you understand this, you can switch to the other ones really easily. Okay, let me just go back here. Should Billy do an ASMR live stream? <laughs> oh no. I don't think anyone wants that. I don't have a very, um, I don't think I have a very like attract, like a sexy voice to do ASMR. And usually you need something like that. You need like a really attractive voice, like a really pleasing voice to do ASMR. And mine's just like regular, like a regular, uh, your next, Every, every regular person voice. Oh, that doesn't make any sense. Okay. Another one. This verb is really useful too with quotes. What if you heard a quote, right? So I, I'm just trying to give you lots of verbs to open your mind to see that this is a quoting form. Is just It's just like putting quotations around a sentence in English. When can you use quotations in English? All over the place, everywhere. There's so many places you can use quotations in English and in Korean too. So let's say that you heard, um, I heard that Chersu speaks Korean well. Actually, you guys try this one. I heard Chersu speaks Korean well. To speak well, you can just use 잘 하다. 잘 하다 literally means to do well, but that's what they use for to speak well. You can say 잘 말 하다, but Koreans don't usually do that. It's not necessary. So language here, 잘 하다 means to speak a language well. So if you speak English well, you do 영어. If you speak Korean, 한국어 or whatever language you want. So how would you say this? This is also just quoting a quotation form, and now we can use a verb, 듣다. And I'll give you another, another cheat here, another secret. The conjugation in the past tense of to hear is 들어. So it's 들었어요 in the yo form for past tense. Though I know if you already knew that, you're already making your sentence, so it doesn't matter. But 들었어요 would be I heard. Nice. Emeryliz, very first result. My very first try. Yes, ASMR is great. No, my ears feel like they're going to fall off. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> this is an interesting result. <laughs> Okay. Nice. Unicorn mixture. Yes, you can add cholnin for I heard. Perfect. Nice. 
Tersiga hangoro t a r a n d a g o s Tersiga hangoro. Okay, okay, okay. I don't want to go through all of them because of time. But yes, Tersiga h a n g o g o r t a r h a n d a g o right? t a r h a n d a g o t r o s o y o I heard. c h a r s u speaks Korean well. So this verb, I said, I heard, I shouted, I yelled, I whispered, I thought, right? s e n g a k a d a as we learned before. I thought. It's all the same form. It's quoting. So last week when I was giving you the uh, lesson about, oh, this eraser works so nice. With this pen, oh, this is like such a happy combination that I can actually erase stuff. Okay. Like what, last week when I was giving you the lesson about thinking, I was subliminally teaching you the quoting form early. So if, if you were there for last week, hopefully it should start to click a little bit. Like, oh, I see. It's kind of like everything in quotations is this quoting form with the plain form like that. Okay, next one. And a really common one is yagi. Yagi r hada. Which most of the time, if you're under 30, or even people over 30, they just say yegi instead. Yegi. And they write it. But if you're trying to do something like uh, official, like you know, you're writing an essay or news article or speaking extra formally, I would say yagi. Otherwise, yegi is a thousand times more common. So yegi hada. Yegi hada. This means just to tell. This isn't so much of, this isn't the same as chon hada, which that's more like to convey information to somebody. Like, oh, tell him something for me. This one's just to tell, as in to let somebody know. Yagi hada literally means to tell or, or to tell a story. Yagi means a conversation or a story. So you're just telling someone what happened. Yagi hada, yegi hada. So this one's also super useful. So it's a regular Korean verb, but you can use this with uh, these quoting forms to say, I told her I like spiders. How would you say this? I told her I like spiders is call me. I'll just write that here. I told her I like spiders. How would you say this in Korean? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I was reading a couple of the ones from before. You guys are really good. I'm trying to find people who made mistakes, so I can't. Either you guys are all perfect or some of you are copying and pasting, but you're doing a good job though. Ah, Kaylon Sampayo. Uh, because is a descriptive verb, and remember that descriptive verbs do not conjugate. To become the plain form, it just stays as doktokada. So doktokada go. If you wanted to say, I told someone that Tersu is smart. Komiro c h o a n d a g o yegiro h e s e o Yep. Not komi for Dr. Nutria, not komi, komi. Komi. The komis. t o n e n c h e g a komiro c h o a h a n d a g o y e g i s e o Nice. You didn't need the t o n e n at the beginning, but it's fine to put it in there. Since you're already saying tega, and they can assume that yegi heso, the person who's doing that is you. But yeah, it's not wrong. Uh, Eileen Z, uh, also komi instead of komi. That's nice too. Isangi. Kunyo is not really used in Korean, but for an example sentence, I'll accept it. But in Korean, they don't say kunyo and ku for he and she. Those are actually only used in uh, like textbook examples. They're not actually spoken. Yeah, that works, that works too. Sam Strongarm, you have a typo for Chuahada and Yegi. You wrote Egi Hesue, which means I babied. Egi means a baby, but typo, other than typo, is fine. And a shot, you have a He, it has to be at the bottom. Hesoyo. The grammar though is fine. I like bears, not spiders though. You can say, kom, komer, kom, c h o a n d a g o Not komi. It would be kom, e. Yeah, you would need a name if you didn't want to say her. Komi shiltago yegeseo. Nice. 
Freddy undercover. Nice, nice. He just said, I dislike spiders. Okay. So I hope you guys are getting the hang of this one form. I do want to keep going. I just have to be a little quicker. So any of these verbs can be used with any of these four forms that we're learning today. It just depends on what you want to say. So let's go on. The next thing is a real, this is, this is actually just a plain form rule. So I talked about this last week when we learned how to say sengakada with the ida. Remember it becomes irago after a consonant or just rago after a vowel. You remember that from last week? If you weren't here last week, the answer is no. But if you were here last week, irago sengakada. Like I think I am chega miguk saram irago. American person sengakeo. I think I am an American person. The same thing applies for quoting. When ida, to be, combines with ko for quoting forms, just like sengakada, it becomes irago. And the same thing happens to anida, to not be, which becomes anirago. That's it. Just remember that these are the same rules as they were with the to think sengakada form. So they also apply here too. Wow, this marker smells pretty strong though. I should be careful. It's like holding it, holding it like a foot away from my face and it smells pretty strong. Now I'm feeling all dizzy. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. So if you wanted to say, Sega, Biguk Saram, Irago, Senga Keo, I think that I'm American, or, I said, personally, I think I said I was an American makes more sense than I think I'm an American, but you know, just for gram grammar purposes, it's fine to learn both of them. I said, um, I told him, I told her that I'm an American. Like that. Anything you want to do for quoting. So just remember that ida becomes irago after a consonant or lago after a vowel. And anida just becomes anirago regardless of whatever it comes after. So quick quiz. I'm going to erase this. I said, how do you say this? I said, that's an apple. I said that's an apple. Can you use ante instead of the object particle? Yes, I, I explained that uh, about 10 or so minutes ago, but you have to use two. So ante or ege instead of the object. You can't use the object particle for who you're telling it to. <laughs> really? I'm sure there is a singer called Spider in every, every country and every language. not Remember, it's lago after a vowel. Sagwa ends in a vowel, so sagwa lago. Freddy undercover must be hungry. I said that was a snack, but sagwa is apple. Kwaja is like a snack. Sweetest fortune also had sagwa irago. Should be sagwa lago. And Dr. Nutri also sagwa lago. Is woods RN sagwa lago. Nope, soft struck, it's sagwa rago, as I just explained. Meryl is nice. Sagwa rago sagwa rago. I said that I am an apple, that person. So for you should write that is there's there's a lot of ways you could write that. You you don't even have to translate it. You can just say Sagwa Rago Barhesoyo. No, I'm not gonna write it. Sagwa rago barasoyo. Um, this is also one thing I wanted to cover next. So, sagwarago. When we get to this part, as soon as a Korean person hears the ko, right? They hear this ko. They know it's a quote. They're just waiting for the verb. Did you say it? Did you scream it? Did you whisper it? Well, they know it's a quote already. You can just end your sentence. You don't even have to put the verb after. The Korean will just assume 
you mean said. So if you do not put a verb after this part, this is another common way that this form is used. You can just end it with ko or koyo. So plain form, so you take the plain form and you attach ko just like before, and then you attach yo optionally. I'd recommend attaching yo unless you're talking with your closest friend. But if you do this, it has the same meaning as saying soyo. So this is a specific use case situation. So it only means soyo, like I said something or I, you know, whatever the verb is, it's usually just going to be I said. Uh, if, it's if it's a question, then this verb would be assumed to be ask. If it's command, this would be also said. A suggestion would be also said. But they'll assume that you meant said. So if you just say, yo, that means I said it's an apple. But what you're literally saying is just, it's an apple in quotes. And they'll assume that you're saying, I already said that. So this makes your, this, this cool by itself makes what you just said into a quote. And anything that comes after is just how you describe what happened to that quote. So, you know, you're reading a book and it'll say like, um, Harry said, no, I'm not a wizard. I'm just a boy. And then the next line just has quotes. No, you're a wizard, Harry. You know that the character said it. You don't have to, it doesn't have to say like Hagrid said that. You just put the quotes. They know. You can assume by reading the book. And in Korean, they have the same exact thing. You can just assume it's a quote because it has that ko or koyo at the end. So there's another really common way to use quoting in Korean is by not even using a verb at all. And that means you've just said something. So if you said, that's an apple. And your friend said, what did you say? Which is probably, you probably have heard this before too. Maybe you've heard this before. yo is a question. That means mo is what. yo is from ida. So it is what? What is it that you said? Here's a quote. So what did you say it is? Literally, this means what is it in quotes. So what did you say it is? What did you say? yo. Then you would repeat. Ah, yo. I said, said is assumed. I said, it's an apple. Does that kind of make sense? So this common expression, moraguyo, is, you know, literally means, what did you say? Well, literally actually just what? What did you say? Moraguyo? Or morago malhesoyo, right? It's just removed at the end. Morago barasoyo, what did you say? Well, I said, sagwaraguyo. I said apple. Let's check the chat for a second. Yeah, the only time you use nago is with ida. That's not true. There's also a uh, nago form, which we're going to learn next, which is different. But most of the time, it tends to come up as the ida form. What about le? That's used with the command form, which we're going to be going over next. Okay. Um, I do want to quickly go a little far faster because I do want to finish all the lesson today within two hours. We're now at three o'clock. I'm supposed to be done with this page, but I still have a couple more lines to do. Let's see, what should we do? Okay, some quick examples. There's actually more examples on the summary that I wrote, but I don't have enough time to go through it all. So I'll just put that up on my Patreon so you can read those later if you want some more examples. So what if you said it's cold? Well, chupta is to be cold. So chupta ku yo. Chupta go yo. So you're walking down the street, you're like, oh, oh, chuo, chuo yo, or chuo, whatever you want to say, you know, chuo. You say, oh, it's so cold, chuo. Then your friend says, Boragwe yo? Or are you shivering? Or, you know, what something they're asking for clarification. You can just repeat, chukta go yo. Ah, chukta go yo. I said it's cold. If you, want to, if you want to say, I said it's cold, you say, chukta go yo. I said it's cold. Or, um, let's see. So you're talking with your friend and they said, hey, can I come, can I go to your birthday party too? But you don't like them. I guess you're, they're not your friend. Okay, some random dude comes up to you. He's like, oh, I want to go to your birthday party too. You're like, andreo, right? Andreo. Andreo means literally that's not okay. That won't fly. That's not good. 
So no. No, you can't come to my birthday party. I don't even know you. And the friend says, come on, come on, just let me come. I'll bring you, I'll bring you a present. Um, but you don't want him to come anyway. So you say, 안 된다고요. 안 돼요 normally comes from 안 되다. There's two words. 안 되다. So 안 된다 고요. I said no. Like you said, ah, 안 돼요. And he's like, come on, just let me come too. And you're like, ah, 안 된다고요. I said no. I said that, no, that won't be okay. That won't fly. So this is a really, and you don't have to say 안 된다고 말했어요. Like I said no, just no. And you're repeating yourself. This is now a quote, 안 된다고요. Okay, now we can go on to the next form. And this 고요, as I mentioned, you, you'll use this with any of the four quoting forms we're learning today. So it's not only this one. All right, now we are finished with the most important, the longest form, which is statements. The other ones are much shorter. There's, see, this one's like less than half a page. This one's like five lines. The other ones are more simple to work with. Okay. Let's just check here. Okay. So now we need to know, now we need to know how to work with questions. So we've only worked with statements, right? So we only need to know, we only know so far, how do we work with statements, but there are also questions. I actually don't have a new black marker because when they shipped me the marker, the, it was a four pack and the black marker was missing from the four pack. So Amazon refunded me half of the price, but I have to buy a new black marker. So this one's dying, but just pardon it. I'll buy a new one. Okay, question. And I'll use the fund I got, so don't worry about it. So questions. What if you wanted to say, um, let's see. I asked. I asked. So now the quote that's going to be in these quotation marks is going to end in a question mark, right? So I asked, um, do you want to eat cheese? I asked, do you want to eat cheese? Well, we're going to need a new form because I want to eat cheese would be cheese it or cheese it or moko shipta, right? So if we're saying I said I want to eat cheese, we would just say cheese it or moko shipta ko malhesoyo. But this is now a question. So we can't just say cheese it or moko shipta ko malhesoyo. That doesn't make any sense. I, I mean, they'd probably understand what you're trying to say. <laughs> That'd be really bad. Don't do that. It sounds really weird. Okay. We need a new form, which is also very easy and works the same way. All you do is you take the verb stem and you attach nyago. Nya ko. Nyago. Now you have a question. Quote. And then after, just like before, you can say to ask. So here we're asking them, right? You can do it. You can think of another verb, you know, uh, if you wanted to, uh, to question if someone wants to eat cheese, you know, to inquire if someone wants, you know, you can think of any uh, verb you want, but we're just going to use asked, which is 물어보다. 물어보다. 물어보다 means to ask. So, Nyago, same thing, but now we're not doing the plain form. This is not the plain form anymore. The plain form is only for statements because remember the plain form itself is only used for statements. You don't make the plain form as question. Plain form is just, I did this, this is this way, this happens, right? It's only just plain form. You could pass pre past, present or future, but it's only statements. This form does not use the plain form. So it's actually easier to conjugate. You just take the verb, you attach nyago, and then muroboda and conjugate it. So how would I say this? I, I know this is the very first time I'm showing you a sentence with this form, but you guys might be able to do it. So go ahead and give this a try. How would you say, I asked, do you want to eat cheese? Let's see if anyone's already doing it. Of course, people are already doing it in the chat. Cheese or mokko shimnyago yo. Yeah, cheese or mokko shimnyago That's right. You can do it exactly with the 
Koyo, just at the end. You don't even have to add the verb. I think you guys are really getting this one. I think this, this one is clicking with a lot of you guys. Ajoshi, you have some spelling mistakes, but the grammar is, is correct. You have chiju, it should be chiju, and then mokko, but you have mogul. But the rest of it's okay. Chizuru mokko, ship. Nope, remember, all you do is you take the verb stem, doesn't matter if it's an action verb or descriptive verb, and you attach nya ko. There is an exception. There is an exception. If the verb ends in li, you remove it. If the verb stem ends in a li, so example, if you have sarda, there's not, there's not a ton of these verbs, sarda to live, then when you get the verb stem, you remove it. So sarda would just become sanyago. Like if you wanted to say, I asked, do you live in Korea? You can say hanguk, Korea, hanguk e in Korea, sanyago, buro, pasoyo. Sanyago Murobasoyo. So whatever it is, Nyago Muroboda. So this could be Murobasoyo or Muroba Juseo. Please ask if he lives in Korea. Or Muropasoyo, did you ask, does he live in Korea? Like that. Any way you want to use it, just like before. But now what's in the quote is in what but now what's in the quotation marks is a question. Let's check a few more. 치즈를 먹고 싶냐고 물어봤어요. 치즈를 먹고 싶 치즈를 묻고 싶냐고 물어봤어. And a shot. You're not. You're not. Cr 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 oh, I see. You wrote mok. Uh, it's supposed to be mok. I thought you wrote mook for a second. Mook is like a dialect word for to eat. 치즈를 먹고 싶냐고 Ellen Fritch. It's 먹고 싶냐. 냐고. 치즈 치즈. Page Warnick. 치즈 즈 not 주. For that. The rest is okay. Chizuru mogo shim, not mogo shim, it's mokko for YouTube user 9. Mokko. I wrote it on the board here. Mokko. Korean really doesn't like lir. No, actually, it's not that Korean doesn't like. Oops, are we okay? Hold on. I think the chat has a problem. I hope we're still live. I think the chat, the YouTube chat had an is has an issue. Um, let me check here for a second. Yeah, I think YouTube is having an issue with the chat. I hope, let me, I have to check the, um, I have to check the chat to see if we're, we're okay on here. I think the chat has a problem. Am I still live? I hope I'm still live. This time it's not me, I swear. This time it's uh, YouTube giving me a problem. Okay, video. Okay, I, I just I just checked the Discord, and apparently video works fine, but chat doesn't work. So it's completely you, on YouTube's end. I see YouTube has an issue. So I'll keep my I'll keep my uh I'll keep refreshing. See, I can't. I swear, YouTube won't let me do one live stream without some sort of issue. Last week, my uh, power company's like, "You guys don't need power." <laughs> Cut off the live stream. This week, YouTube's like. Hmm, what can we do? He got his live stream back. Oh, I know. Let's cut off the chat access to him. So yeah, I apologize. Um, okay, so I'm gonna read the chat. I'll read the chat from the Discord. So if you're in the Discord, check that out. I'll read the chat from there. I apologize. My entire YouTube, I guess some people are having issues with YouTube. So I guess we're still live, but this is not good for YouTube. Okay, we're still live, but yeah. <laughs> I just have the worst luck. Okay, I, I wanna keep going. I just worry if it's like working correctly. I don't wanna like have an issue later where it won't work. If I keep teaching, okay. 
Do you think it's okay if I keep teaching? Okay, I'll go in live stream chat. We're still live. Okay, a bunch of people are saying we're still live. I'm just gonna keep going. Screw it, we'll do it live. We'll do it live. Okay, so that's how you do questions. It's really easy, you just attach nyago. And you don't have to do any strange rules for any verbs except that with most exceptions. Um, there is an exception for, well, it's like for ida, right? Remember, you know, ida became irago with statements. Well, for ida with this form, it just becomes i nyago. And it works the same as it always does whenever it's i. So it's i after a consonant and just nyago after a vowel. So i nyago if it comes after a consonant or just nyago, just like it was irago after a consonant and Lago after a vowel. This is normal with the verb ida. This isn't like some special rule with you have to memorize which forms does it do it. It's every single form. Every time ida comes after a vowel, it just, the e goes away for all of its conjugations. Um, and then whenever it comes after a consonant, it stays. So inyago. That's all, that's all you have to worry about. Let's just check here. Oh my goodness, YouTube. Yes. And uh, I just, someone asked if norda turns into nonyago. Yes, that's what I was talking about with the lir. If the verb stem ends in a lir, such as norda, this is weird. I'm like teaching blind because I don't know if, <laughs> if everyone's okay. So you get the verb stem, it ends in a lir, so you remove it, and then you do the rest of it. So it end, now it's a vowel, so nonyago. And that's it. There's one more exception. So yes, just like sarda, norda, any of those verbs that ends in a lir, you just remove it. There's one more exception, but you don't really have to worry about this. If the verb stem ends, and this is a lot of verb stems, uh, a lot of grammar rules have exceptions for verb stems that end with p up. If it ends in a p up, you don't have to do this, but the grammatically correct way to conjugate this form for nyago when it ends in a p up is remove the p up, for sure remove it. Then you add the syllable, ooh. So, most people actually do not do this. For example, I just did the example of before chupta. So we have the sentence. Chum nyagoyo. I asked, is it cold, right? It's not refreshing. Okay, hopefully we're okay. Um, if I hope this doesn't mess up. If it messes up again, I swear. I swear I'm moving to Twitch. <laughs> but I can't do this on Twitch. I know, it's like, oh my gosh. Okay. Chum nyagoyo. So I asked, is it cold? What you're supposed to do actually is this. So you're supposed to actually do this role. So you get chupta, which, you know, chupta to be cold. You remove the ta. Oh, it ends in a p up. So you remove the p up. You add an u, and you're left with chu u nyagoyo. Chu nyagoyo. But most people don't actually do this conjugation for any of the verbs that end in pia. Another one, mepta, to be spicy. You would normally do me u nyago, but most of the time people just say mem nyagoyo. Mem nyagoyo. Mem nyago, buro basoyo. I asked, is it spicy? That's more common, or at least equally as common as doing this rule. So be aware of it. That's supposed to be the correct way. And there's other grammar forms too, where this has to be, where it's supposed to be like this, but it doesn't. But this is one example. So learn it this way, but if you're, if you mess up or you see it this way, just know that it's a very common and even I'd say accepted mistake to do it this way. My goodness. Is it gonna be like this the whole time? Is YouTube still down? <clears throat> Is it back up? Okay. Are we back up? Oh, it's just the chat server. Okay. Uh, let's try that. I'm just going to refresh. My goodness. Can I just have one live stream without any major crippling issues? <laughs> Are we back? Are we back? Can someone write in the chat to make sure we're okay? 
Is this okay? I'm gonna refresh again. If it works, that wasn't too bad. I guess that would have been five minute, 10 minute delay. And it's still not refreshing. So let's close this, let's open it again. Let's uh, refresh. My goodness. What is happening? Because I want to see your comments. Part of the, uh, the thing I have is I actually have some interactive, I have some questions I want to ask you guys and I can't do that without the chat. <laughs> but I'll cut all of this out when I make the abridged version of the lesson. Okay, it's still working. I can see it, it's still working correctly, but there's no chat. Okay, uh, I would say post all of your questions into the Discord, but I know a lot of you guys aren't using the Discord. Okay, is YouTube completely down for everyone? <clears throat> I'm just gonna keep going. If it turns out that YouTube messed up and this live stream is not being recorded, I will do it again for you guys today. So don't worry about that. Although you might have to watch it later if it's really late. So let's keep going. And I remember where it crashed. It crashed after the first page. So I'll just redo this whole second page. So unfortunately, I won't be able to ask you guys to make these sentences, but I will just give them to you. So where did the teacher go? So I asked, this one's another question. I asked, where did the teacher go? I think this black pen's dying too. I should just get a new black pen before I wait for it to die. Okay, I asked, where did the teacher go? Well, where did the teacher go? We're gonna need a couple of words. We're gonna need oldi for where. To go to where is oldi e kada. Kada for go. Teacher is hanseng nim. I know I can't read any of your chats, but if you're still watching, if you're out there guys, try to make the sentence on your own and I'll go over, um, Wait, are we back? Are we back? Are we back? I just saw a comment that said back. Back, back. Okay. Did you guys keep, could you guys still keep watching me during that whole fiasco with YouTube? Were you guys able to still watch me? I'm wondering if the live stream is uh, completely screwed or if I have to do that part again. Or you could still hear. Okay. Whew. All right. Shimon. <laughs> We're good. That's good because I just finished the last of my caffeine. And if I had to do it again, I would have to drink a whole other cup. And then I'd be talking like really, really fast for the second part. So I asked, where did the teacher go? Try to make the sentence. Three, two, one, go. Your best attempts. I'm not going to tell you how to do it. This is a little more complicated than we've done before. But I want you guys to give it a try. I will give you a hint though. We need, I said we need to use the nyago after the verb stem. In this case, the verb stem is not just kada, because if you say kanyago, so you guys can try to write while I'm adding some explanation for, for beginners. If you just say kanyago, that means where does the teacher go? Like present tense, now, kada. We need to get the past tense. So the past tense stem of kada to go is normally, well, normally you just say, you know, if you haven't learned this yet, normally you just say kasoyo or whatever. If you know kasoyo, it's actually easy to get back to the verb, the original stem. You remove any ayo, if there's any ayo or any oyo or anything after these letters. So these letters are at the bottom, right? Anytime you see these letters at the bottom, all you do is you go, you cut off everything after there. So you get, you cut off kasoyo, you just go to kat, ta. This would be the verb the basic verb form, like unconjugated. So normally you have, you know, kada to go for present tense is just to go. Now this kata is to went. So this is the plain dictionary form for the past tense. And you don't really need this form very much, but if you want to know like, what's the dictionary form for past tense, how do I get that? Well, you can just remove the, everything after those two letters. So you get kat. Now you attach nyago, just like before. 
Okay, let's see what you guys are doing though. Odi ka nyago. Yep, ajoshi. Remember, try it again with the past tense. <laughs> yes, exactly. Where did I go? Exactly. Where did I go? Well, I was still here and apparently the video worked fine. So, uh, it could have been worse. I, I hate saying that though. Nice. That's nice too. You're adding in some honorifics. That's good too. And that's probably better if you add in honorifics, but you know, for grammar purposes, we can't be a hundred percent perfect or natural all the time. 선생님은 어디에 가냐고요? Uh, typically, you would want to use 선생님 이 because what the topic person who is talking is going to be the topic of the sentence. Like, I said this, but it's not wrong. Oh, yeah, that's one more thing I wanted to mention is that typically in Korean, so the, the correct answer is 선생님이 어디에 가냐고? Like, as I wrote on the board, 가냐고. Something that you should notice is whoever is saying the quote and this is not a rule but this is most of the time i'll say 99 percent of the time whoever is talking will be marked with the topic marker if i said it if you said it monkey said it any person that says it is marked with the topic marker anything else in the sentence any part of the quote so any subject that's within the quote any any person will be marked with the subject marker so if i said where did the teacher go? Most of the time, it would be 저는 선생님이 어디 가냐고 물어봤어요. Not 저는 선생님은 or just here, 선생님은. It's not wrong to use it in a quote, but it's mostly uncommon because it's it can be vague. If you say 선생님은 어디 가냐고 물어봤어요, that sounds to a Korean like the teacher is the one asking where someone else, we don't know who, so the teacher said, where did he or someone else go? For example, a student just suddenly runs out of class. 선생님은 어디 가냐고 물어봤어요. The, the teacher just asked, where did that person go? Where did they run off to? So it can be vague. So most of the time, the person who's saying something or thinking something or making any quote will be marked with the topic marker, not the subject mark. Sorry. Yeah, the topic marker, not the subject marker. And anything in quotes, all of it will be, if there's a subject, will be marked with the subject marker. We're good? All right, let's check the chat again. If they can't see comments, tell them to refresh the stream. Okay, yeah, if you can't see any comments, just, you know, smash, smash that refresh button and it should be good. Carminas also asked that too. Should I say 선생님, er, it has to be 선생님 e. And I did a live stream about the topic subject and object markers in Korean. You can check that out. Uh, that should clear it up. But yeah, you would do subject marker with that. 어디 가냐고 물어봤어요. Nice, nice. Okay. It's your boy Billy here coming at you. YouTube 2018. Remember to smash the like button. Obliterate the subscribe button. Commit genocide on the comment section. All that good stuff. Okay, I'd like you guys to also make this sentence. Do you, I asked, do you have money? And then we'll move on to our next form because once you've learned the basics of how this form, how these quotation forms work, you all, all you need to do is learn a new verb to go with them and uh, get practice using them, but they all work the same way. Uh, the funny thing though, that totally messed up my schedule because it took away 10 minutes, but I'll do this sentence and we'll go into the next one. <laughs> Become a ma maverick. I feel bad for the like button. Why is everyone so violent with it? I don't know. 저는 돈이 있냐고 물어봤어요. Nice. 돈을? No, real LJH. Ita is not an action verb. It does not have an object. So it has to use the subject marker for ton i. Ton i nyago muro waseyo. Ton i nyago muro waseyo. Ton i nyago. Ton i nyago. Well, if M3G star, if you wrote chonin, chonin is polite. But if you end the sentence with i nyago, that would be impolite. That would be a casual. So you cannot mix them. It would have to be i nyago yo 
Or if you were talking with your closest friends, you could say nanen for na, for it, for casual Korean. But chol is only for polite Korean. Soft struck, you wrote mudosoyo, but mutta is actually different than muroboda. Oh, I see you retracted it. It's okay, it's okay. Try again. Caress that like button. Pat the subscribe button. Let him know that he's cared for, you know. Make waves of happiness in the comments section. <laughs> Ahe Mong's probably gonna edit this garbage into a video or something for the Instagram page. Okay, so I asked, do you have money? That's right, I'll go over it here. Tony Inyago. And then you can just do Inyago, Inyago yo, Inyago, Murobasoyo. Pasoyo. Okay, now we gotta go on to the next form because I do wanna keep within the time. Even though we had that 10 minute outage of comments, I don't want it to affect our schedule too much. So the next form. So hopefully this next hopefully this next form should be easy for you guys because it works the exact same way as the others. This is for making a suggestion. Um, so if you were to say normally, like, oh, let's go, you know, kaja. Now, normally if you use this cha form, like I said, this is only for casual use. So you would not say kaja to anyone who's not your close friend, close friend. So you can't say kaja to your teacher, you can't say kaja to a group of people, unless they're all your really close friends and like the same age as you or younger. So you can't even say this to older friends most of the time, unless you're really close. Um, so do not learn this form as meaning let's. There are other ways to say let's that are more polite and I could do a live stream about those in the future, but we don't have time today, there are a lot of them. So. Kaza normally would just mean let's go. So what this form literally is, is just, so you have the same thing. You take the verb stem and you attach cha go. What this literally means is, let's something in quotes. So I said, let's go, is just kaza ko. So now we have quotes, kaza go, mal hesoyo. Right? Easy. Literally all you're doing is I said, let's go. But because the ending of the sentence is so yo, it has a yo or whatever form you want, this can be perfectly polite. So you could say a kazago soyo to someone who's not your close friend. Because it's you're still being polite by finishing the sentence with yo. Inside of the quotes, it's okay just to do kazago. You're saying, I said, let's do this. So anytime you want to say let's in the quote. Anytime your quote includes a, like, let's do that. Let's go. Let's play. Let's meet at this time. Uh, let's study Korean. You know, anything like that, you use this form. And the conjugation of it, everything else works the same as previously, but there are no exceptions to the rules that you have to learn. You don't have to remove the lir, remove a piup, or anything like that. You just take the verb stem, any tense you want, and attach cha ko. And then the same thing is, as before, you can use cha go, cha go yo, uh, 자고 말했어요. 자고 외쳤어요. I, I screamed it. 자고 자고. You probably wouldn't whisper "Let's go," but you know. Anyway, you get the idea. You can use any verb you want with it. If you want to say "I replied," "Let's go," then you can use the verb "reply" or any form that you want to say. <laughs> can you please explain when it's possible to drop un or nun? Yeah, check out my two hour live stream about the particles because that goes over all of that. And it would take a long time to cover that again today. If you have a friend but they are older than you, do you have to use the polite form, even if you know them well? You should, yes. The, as a Korean, they would know that you are not familiar with Korean and they might tell you, hey bro, you can speak casually to me. If they say that, feel free. Um, otherwise, don't because you're supposed, in Korean culture, they wouldn't either. You have to be really close to them, not just know them well, but you have to be in a close relation with them. Like, for example, I have a 
two of my uh, wife's friends. They're really cool and we're really close and we hang out. Uh, one of them I've known for, I want to say six years or so, and she's younger than me. And I always use casual speech to her, but her husband, I, I've known him for a year or so and we're close. You know, we make jokes and stuff, but I still cannot speak casually to him yet because he's a little bit older than me. And he doesn't speak casually to me either because we don't have a close enough relationship. Even though we both like each other, we both know each other well, maybe after, you know, a few more months of meeting and maybe go drinking together or something, then we'll, you know, decide let's speak casually to each other. Until then, no, you're supposed to use the correct forms with anyone who's older than you. So it's not like English where when you become friends, you just speak casually and stuff with someone. It's not, it's a little more strict than that in Korean. Okay, so the next... The next thing, so I said, let's go, or how would we say, I said, let's study Korean. I'm not gonna tell you how to say this at all. I'm not gonna give you a single word. How would you say this? Go. Kaylin Sampaio, you made a nice example there. I said, let's eat cheese. Nice. Ice cream 먹으러 가자고 말했다. Walio. Yeah, 말했다 is the plain form past tense conjugation of 말하다. So it's correct. Uh, it would, since it's plain form though, you probably wouldn't say it. Um, but it's fine for writing as an example, like for a journal or something like that. <laughs> Tessa S switched to data. Oh no, power went out for you. Yeah, last week mine did too. That's why last week's stream is divided into two lessons. Let's check here. Okay. But at least the stream didn't cut out. Knock on wood. I got wood here. 한국어를 공부하자고 말했어요. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. 한국어 공부... Oh, Eileen Z, you have a typo. You wrote Hagugo, but just changed to Hangugo. Kumbu Hajago yo. Nice, nice. Yeah, and you can also conjugate just like how you guys had Hetjago. Hetjago would be like, I, you, you wouldn't do that because that wouldn't grammatically or logically make sense to say Hetja. Because what, what do you think that would mean? If haja means to let's let's do something, hetja let's did something, it doesn't quite make any sense. So it's always haja. It's always the present tense because you're saying let's do. You're not saying let's did. Like let's did eaten. I mean, it, yeah, it doesn't quite make any sense in Korean. If you want to make past, like I said, then you make just the part after. I said, mal hesoyo. I said, literally. But the actual quote itself is not past since you can't say let's done something. Uh, unless you're, you know, unless you're a hillbilly, then I guess you could say that. I did say let's do get done study, I guess. Other than that, you guys are doing really good. Uh, Eileen Fritsch, you wrote 공부 해자고, but that, it's not 해. It'd be 하다 is the verb. 해, 해 is when it's conjugated already, but you need to get back to the form that ends with a ta first, and then you can remove the ta and add ta. Yeah, well, this time I was worried about the power going out, but do people make jokes with the wrong form of things like with did it all because I do all the time? If you're close with them and they understand that you know it's wrong, then sure. But if you wrote that to a Korean, they would think you really just didn't know. And they might, um, and even if you say, oh, I knew that, they might think, you know, you didn't know it. You messed up. So you have to be careful with that because it's not a common form. So if you mess up the pa if you mess up the tenses, it really does kind of seem weird. Um, this is not about the lesson today, but just something off topic, because I think it's kind of funny. What Ahimang is talking about, like sometimes people might do this. So normally the past tense of hada would be hesoyo, right? But if, what if you wanted to say had done, like I had done that, or I had eaten, right? You know, the past, the double past tense. Well, in Korean, they also have that too. Hesosoyo, it's not as common, but you might, you might find uses for it. But you can also make this more past, just to be funny. Hesosososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososososos
but you could joke about this with Koreans and they would understand this as a joke. But other than that, playing around with the tenses, they're gonna think that you're just, you just don't know Korean. But if you joke about like that, they probably understand that you know what you're doing. You're just doing it to be funny. That's the only example I can think about. Okay, next form, actually. Oh, whoa, 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 one more thing. Let's not. I said, let's not go. Now, this is different because to not do something is not the regular negative form in Korean. The normal negative form of hada, you know, would be haji an ta, or, you know, an hada, as we learned in the previous live streams about negative verbs. This is not how you say, let's not. Let's not is different. It's not ji an ta. That just means I don't do something. But when you're saying let's not do something, it's not an ja, haji an ja, or an haja. That doesn't make any sentence. And that doesn't make any sentence. That doesn't make any sense in Korean. <clears throat> it's a different form. It starts with G and it just goes on the verb stem, but the form is haji malda. Haji malda, which when you use it in the let's form, it becomes haji malda. Haji or something ji, like kada for to go. Kaji malda. Haji, let's not do it. Haji malda. Kongbu haji malda. Let's not study. So if you wanted to just normally say, like, let's not go with this cha form, you'd say, kaji malda. Let's not go. You wouldn't say kaji ancha or an kaja. Doesn't make any sense. So the same thing applies with this form. If you said, I said, let's not go. Kaji malda go. If you wanted to end it like that. That's all you have to do. So just remember that it's For the, the base form, so this would be the form that you'd find in the dictionary, would be Because this is also used in the next form for making a command. But uh, the base form is And in this case with let's, it's So is used for when you're telling someone to not do something. It's not saying you aren't doing something. You're saying, let's not do that or do not do that. Do, do not do that. Okay, let's check the time. If I'm okay on time, I'll do one more example. If not, I'll go on. Let's see. I said, okay, let's do this one. I said, I want you guys to do this. Let's not meet. No, 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 let's not do I said. I didn't say, okay, this is, I didn't say. So this is a little harder. And this is because the sentence is kind of weird because, you know, it's I didn't say let's not. It's not a very realistic sentence, like not really something you'd often say to I didn't say let's not do something. But, you know, for the purpose of this lesson, just to make sure you guys got the concept I just explained, try to translate this. I didn't say let's not meet tomorrow. So go ahead and start trying that on your own. You just made a Korean sound. What was that? <laughs> I heard that Osos was used to. Yeah, Kaylon, that's a common way of saying used to. My, I believe my third, my Korean Made Simple book three actually teaches that, how to use the double past tense to mean used to. And that's actually the most common way that Korean people say, I used to do something. They would say, Hesosoyo. Not Hesosoyo, but Hesosoyo. 옛날에 한국어를 공부했었어요. I used to study Korean a long time ago. Which literally means I had studied Korean a long time ago. Oh, that sound? I, I guess so. 내일 만나지 말자고 말하지 않았어요. Emeril is nice. 저는 내일 만나지 말자고 말하지 않았어요. Walio. Nice. 내일 만나지 말자고 말하지 않았어요. 내일 말하지... <clears throat> nice. That's nice too. Unicorn mixer. Okay. Uh, Abigail Brooks, you have a typo. You wrote majago, but it should be majago. Okay. Okay. So I know that this is not such a natural sentence because you usually don't confuse people with like double negatives in Korean because I didn't say let's not. Instead, you would just say, uh, I said, let's meet a different day or something. You would just say something else. But 
Anyway, so let's not meet tomorrow. So meet tomorrow. Neil, you most of you guys have got this. Neil, manna ji, mal jago. So let's not meet tomorrow in quotes. Mal anesoyo or mal haji anesoyo. Either either way, you know, there's a bunch of different ways you could say that. We talked about negatives in a previous live stream, so if you want some more options, you can check that out. 내일 만나지 말자고 말하지 않았어요. Like, this is not a very natural sentence because it's like, I didn't say let's not meet tomorrow, but grammatically, that's how you do it. Perfect. Next form. And out of all the forms, this let's form is probably the least common. I'd say uh, the other ones are more common, but it's still useful. And uh, if you're a Patreon, make sure to check out the Patreon page right after this finishes because this actually has more examples we couldn't do uh, due to time because uh, we lost 10 minutes with YouTube. So I have to cut off some of the examples. I can't type tonight. I give up. I will just say it to myself. How do I know what I want to go? What do you mean? Yeah, the, the double past tense sounds easy for us foreigners to learn. That's right. It, it's actually, it's very easy, I'd say, for foreigners. But Koreans have an issue learning it in English because they don't really use it as much in Korean. Whereas we often say, I hadn't eaten that. I, I, I had never tried that before, right? I had never tried, had tried. But we do that all the time in English. But Koreans don't typically do it. They just say, I didn't try it. So it causes issues when Koreans are learning English because Korean doesn't use the double past tense or I guess that we called the past participle or something like that. They don't use that too much in Korean, except in a few situations, but in English we use it all the time. So that's one of the things that Koreans have difficulty with. Would having no spaces be a horrid mistake? Yeah, I would not do that. Be very careful. Um, you don't have to do spaces perfectly, but at least try, because if you don't use any spaces, it looks like like, hi, I'm going to the store. My name is Billy. Nice to meet you. I'm also teaching Korean. It just is really difficult for Koreans to read. And it looks like you're uneducated and young. It's kind of, it looks like you're purposely trying to make your Korean hard to read and they won't like that. So it's, yeah, I wouldn't recommend doing it. At least try to add spaces. And then it shows them, well, they don't know how to do spacing, but at least they're not trying to be annoying. So it's preferable. Okay, the next one is commands. Oh, I should have changed this. This still says questions. The last one we just did was suggestions, so now for commands. For commands, you take a verb stem and you attach uh if it ends in a consonant. If it doesn't, you just attach da if it ends in a vowel. Go. And then malhada, just like before. Or whatever verb you want to put here to say. And this is for a command. For example, I said, do it. So we have do it, harago from hada. So hada, show you that. So we have hada as the verb to do it. We get the verb stem, which is just ha. It ends in a vowel. So harago. You can just say harago yo. I said, do it. Or harago, malhesso yo. I said, 하라고 말했어요. I said, do it. If it's a verb that ends in a verb stem that ends in a consonant, so let's just say, um, eat. <laughs> 먹으. So you have 으라고. If it ends in a consonant, 먹으라고 말했어요. I said, eat it. Just eat it. So that's all there is to it. And now you can make any quotation that has a command in it. So if the quotation was a command, do this, don't do this. Ah, and don't is also using 지 말다, okay? 지 말다 is also for quotes. I mean, sorry, for the same thing for commands. For if you're saying do not do something or let's not do something. Previously it became 말자, but here it becomes 말라. So you can say 하지 말라. Cool. You might have heard that before in a Korean drama. Haji malago. Haji malago. I said don't do it. I said don't do it. That's what it is. That's all they're saying. So you do chi malla in this in this case for do not do something. I'll write that here. Don't. 
So this form is also very useful. And before I even give you one example sentence, I think you guys are ready. I think I can just give this, give you guys a translation to do. So I said, fix the computer. I'll write that here in a different color. I said, fix the computer. Now, just a quick note again, if we were to use the regular statement form, I said, Fix the computer, gochida is to fix the, to fix, gochida, and computer is just computer, com, pu, sorry, what am I doing? Yeah, yeah, ta, computer, that niem looks really sick, computer, so computer, gochida is to fix computer. So if we were to just use the regular plain form, gochindago, malhesoyo, that just means I said that I do it, or I said that you do it, or something like that. That's just a statement. But here it's a command. I said, fix the computer. So you can think of it like this. I said, fix the computer, fix it, right? You know, your 50 year old or 70 year old grandma has installed Bonsai Buddy and all these viruses on her computer. And then you visit her house. She's like, I said, fix the computer. Then this is how she would do it to you. She's like, fix it for me. And you like open up the uh, like desktop and it's Windows 3.1. It's like an abomination of icons everywhere. And there's like pop-ups and all she wants to do is access her email. So I said, fix the computer. How would we say this? Hopefully you guys, some of you guys are probably already doing it. Computer gochi, ah, not gochi hada for is, woods, are, and it's just gochi da. Computer gochi da goya, Dr. Nutria, nice. Computer gochi da go marasoyo, nice, and Mary and again, you can also just use, use nago yo, just like before. Or gochirago malhesoyo, gochirago, shout it, scream it, whisper it, anything you want. Although you wouldn't ask it. You wouldn't say, I asked, fix the computer. You would say, I said, because it doesn't, doesn't make sense to ask. I asked, fix the computer, it just doesn't match. So you have to make sure, ask, muroboda is only with questions. So everything else is just regular verbs. 고치라고요. 컴퓨터를 고치라고 말했어요. 컴퓨터 고치라고요. 컴퓨터를 고치라고 말했어요. Nice, nice. 컴퓨터를 고치, 고치. Should be YouTube user 9. Should be 고치라고 했어요. Other than that, it's correct. 고치라고 했어요. Bonsai Bunny. Hello, I am Bonsai Bunny. Would you like me to tell you a joke? 컴퓨터를 고치라고 말했어요. 컴퓨터를 고치라고요. 컴퓨터를 고치라고 말했어요. Bop it, twist it, pull it. <laughs> Computer gochurago. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not laughing at your mistake. I'm laughing what you what you wrote. You said gochu means a pepper, like a red pepper in Korea. And those peppers that they make spicy. Gochu is red pepper. So computer gochurago. It's like that means I said the computer was a pe was a gochu was a pepper. This is kind of funny. Computer gochurago. Gochirago esoya. Other than that, yes. Because <laughs> gochu, <laughs> gochu rago can also sound like what you're saying is a noun plus irago. Remember? Irago. Hopefully the microphone's not covering that. Okay, yeah. Irago. Remember for it is ida. So for statements with ida, it becomes irago after a, after a consonant or just nago after a vowel, remember? So if you say some, a noun, and then irago or a noun and nago instead of a verb, it sounds like you're saying something is. So if you said computer ga gochurago marasoyo, you're saying, I said that the computer, it's actually a red pepper. Grammatically makes sense, but um, contextually doesn't mean, doesn't, doesn't, I can't understand how the computer be gochu. But anyway, I'm just illustrating this that this is why sometimes people confuse this nago form with this nago form because in regular statements, this is a statement form, the very first form we learned, remember the very first form we learned with ida becomes irago or lago. It, with ida, it becomes, it looks like it's this form, the command form, but that's different because this is with a noun. So this statement form is for a noun with ida, right? Because ida means to be, so it's used only with nouns. And this one is for verbs. So if it's a verb and lago, you know it's a command. 
If it's a noun, enlago or irago, you know that it's a statement. So if you said, Hanguk saram, Korean person, Hanguk saram irago, that means I said that he or she is a Korean. But if you said, um, Hanguk saram er chuaharago, chuahada to like, chuaharago, that means I said like Korean people. You should like Korean people, right? So it sounds similar because they both end in rago but the meaning is completely different. So this is why this form gets confused so much. So don't just learn like, oh, rago is command and plain form is statements because you have to remember that statements with ida become irago and rago. That's the confusing part. Okay. Kochirago marasseyo. Nice, nice. Okay. Uh, we are okay on time. We only have less than 10 minutes. So I have more form. I have more that I want to give you guys. I have so much more to give. And this red does not erase very easily. The blue erases so nice and easily, but the red won't. Okay, I do have a bunch more forms I wish I could give you guys, but due to time, I'm gonna cut those short. I'm just gonna give you one more. I said, ah, we need to learn one more thing. We have to learn this. Okay, the verb chuda means to give. What if, what if we're giving a command that has chuda, right? So you might think, oh, I removed the ta and it ends in a, a vowel, chu, so I attach chuda go, right? Wrong, 99% of the time you'd be wrong. The reason is um, chuda go actually becomes tala go, when used in a quote, most of the time. When does it become talago? Okay, churago. So you're making a sentence, for example. I said, uh, let me do this a blip. I said, give me a cat. Okay, I want a cat, all right? Give me the cat, give me a cat, whatever. So you would say, koyangi. Normally, you'd say, koyangi re chuseyo. Right? Give me a cat. And then the person asks, What did you say? You said you want a cat? You say, Yes, I wanted a cat. So you would think you'd make it, Oh, right? And you'd be wrong. You'd be very wrong. They'd understand what you're trying to say, but it actually would have a different meaning because doesn't mean I said to give me. This is an exception for the verb only. It becomes talago when it's used in a quote. So you can say talago malhesoyo or just talagoyo. Koyangire talagoyo. Talago means give me something. Specifically, when do you use churago and when do you use talago? If you're an absolute beginner, I would just say to keep things simple, just learn talago. Just learn that chuda becomes talago when used in this command form. But that's not the actual answer. And if you do that, you'll be wrong like 1% of the time. So the actual answer is any time that the person asking for something is the same person that's receiving it. So this means give me. Any time that the person asking, so in this case, the person asks, uh, giving the command, if the person asking is the same person who's receiving that, whether that's giving me something or doing something for me, you have to use talago, and that'll be 99% of the time. I said, give it to me, right? Oh, give me that. I said, give it to me. If the person receiving it is different from the person asking for it, you use churago. This is the easiest way that I, could I can think of how to explain this difference. So if you were to say, I said, give me a cat. If you said, I said, give someone else a cat. So if you say you're your best friends with Charsu and Charsu really wants a cat, so you'd say, ah, oh, Charsu, give Charsu a cat, please. Charsu ege, to Charsu, Charsu ante, koyangi re, chuo, Give Charsu a cat, you know, whatever. Please, you're talking with him, oh, please give Charsu a cat. And then they say, what do you say? You would say, koyangi re churaguyo, churago, because it's not you. I am saying it, but I'm not getting it. It's for someone else. You're giving it to someone else. 
Jurago. And that'll be like 1% of the time, I'd say, in common usage. It's really not common. But that's the only time you use Churago. Anytime that you are receiving that and you are saying it, or someone else, maybe someone else is saying it, but someone else is also receiving it, uh, then it's Talago. So you would ask someone, like say, so your friend comes up to you, is like, hey, Billy, can I have a, can I have a cat? You say, Murago, yo, what? Then you can ask him. So he said, can I have a cat? You say, Koyangi를 달라고 yo? Koyangi를 달라고 물어봤어요? Uh, well, I wouldn't be 물어봤어요. 고양이를 달라고 말했어요. Did you say, give me a cat? 고양이를 달라고 yo? Did you say, give me a cat? Notice, I, I'm not getting it. The other guy's getting it. But he is asking for it and he is getting it. So 달라고, not 주라고. That's what the difference is. So most of the time it's going to become talago because most of the time when you're quoting something that you're asking for, it's usually for yourself. But there are times when you're talking about giving something to someone else, not the speaker, in which case you use churago. Good. And same with toajuda. Toajuda also is the same. Toa. Toajuda is a combination of topta and uh, juda. So toa. Talago. Same thing, to help. So if you said, oh, toajuseyo, toajuseyo, help me, help me. And they'd say, moraguyo, what'd you say? <sighs> of course they heard you. But anyway, you would say, toa talaguyo, toa talaguyo, help me, help me. If you were to say, toa juraguyo, you're saying, oh, help them, help that other person. I'm drowning, but help that other person. <laughs> so it's kind of weird if you were to say churago because it means not me, but someone else. I'm not talking about myself. So. Talago. Same thing applies for towajuda. Any verb that has chuda. The same goes with um, any favor. So like hejuda, like hejuseo, please do it for me. And this is more advanced, this is more intermediate grammar. Um, like toa juseo, um karucho juseo, please teach me. Bogo juseo, please eat this. Like maybe you made some food and you don't want it. Um let's see. Um Anything, any sort of favor with chuda and the verb. You know, you've probably seen this form before. Same thing goes here. You'd say, hey, talaguyo. I asked you, please do that for me. And if you were to say, hey, churago, that means I asked you to do that for someone else. So same thing anytime you see the verb chuda. No matter what application it's in, no matter what verb it's in, it always does the same thing. Churago and talago when it's used with quotes. Got it? Yeah, this applies to all chudas. Okay, so... I do want to give you guys some examples of this. So that's just one thing. Like I said, if you're not, if you're still confused about it, yeah, that's fine. I, I admit that I was confused about this all the way until I started my YouTube channel. And then I actually looked it up. Like I would always know, like I'm supposed to use talago, but I was like, wait, churago is used sometimes too. And I had to look it up. So yeah, it's really confusing because it's just not something you would learn otherwise by talking with people because churago is so rare that you have to actually study this separately. So yeah, it is used. Okay, how would we say, I said, sit here. So this, we're actually out of time now, but I do have a couple more for a couple more, just one more thing. I said, sit here. I'll tell you the verb for sit, it is. Anta. So I said, sit here. How would you say this? Here is of course, yogi. So if you, if you, in case you don't know this word, I'll write it here. That way, at least you can try it. You guys are fast. I swear. I thought there's like a delay of like 20 seconds on the stream. Soft struck. Um, this is not, it's not antaguyo. It's, remember, this is a command. I said, sit here. So you're commanding them. But try again. You might be able to get that. Yogi, yogi e so, not yogi e so, but yogi e. <clears throat> e Himang, what are you giving me money for? One dollar for every member of BTS, your favorite happy anniversary <laughs> again. I, and, and you're the one who tells me stop talking about BTS in my streams. <laughs> awesome. I'll, I'll write your name again because it's a separate donation. E Himang, first it was six, six for every um, year that I've been on YouTube, $6 for every year I've been on YouTube. And then 
one for every member of BTS. Does that does that mean that if I could call BTS manager and get them to add a thousand more members, then you'll donate one thousand dollars? Maybe maybe it's maybe I could do that. Like, hey, this is Billy, you know? Oh, pre stop pretending. You know me. Yeah, yeah. You should add like nine hundred ninety three more members to BTS and keep doing that like every month so that I can get rich. It's flawless. Thanks, Ahimon. <laughs> yes, I would. <laughs> Yogi Anzaragoyo. Yes, nice. Yogi Anzarag. Oh, Ellen Fritch. Yogi Anzarago. You wrote Anzaraga. And then Hassoyo should be Hessoyo. So I think it's just a typo you have. Looks like a typo. Synchotic what? Synchotic? Synchotic? Synchotic one. Welcome to the family. I think you're member 35 or 36. Welcome, welcome. And thanks. Can barely keep up with seven. <clears throat> You'll get on, on, uh, and a shot. Anjirago. Remember, it's urago after a consonant and lago after a vowel. Yogi anjirago marasu. Anjirago yo. Nice. Yogi anjirago yo. Abby, nice. Okay, I think you guys have got it. So, you're, you guys are actually impressing me because I didn't expect that you would get them right from the beginning. I expected everyone, most people to get them wrong and then I would correct and reteach. But I actually only had to explain once and then you guys kind of got it. So again, major point to take away from today's lesson is anytime you see quotes, think about what's inside of the quotes. Is it a statement? Like, you know, a question, uh, is it just a period? Like a regular statement, like something is or something isn't. Is it a question? In which case you use the question form. Is it a suggestion like let's? Blah, 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 blah. In that case, you use the suggestion form. Is it a command? Do it. Something you're at telling someone to do. Then you'd use the la or ura. I'll write ura here since it's uh. um, So yeah, just think about that. And then remember that the verb after, I also want to remind you, the verb after can be anything that you want. So typically with a question, it's going to be muroboda. You know, something that's going to be asking, some sort of verb that means asking. But for the other ones, it can be anything you want. So like say, replied, conveyed, you know, uh, told, anything like that. And it's up to you. So I'll leave that up to you to be creative with what endings you want to use. But there's one more thing I want to go over. <clears throat> this verb, marhada, <clears throat> or marhada. This mar, so I told you before, this mar is actually optional. So typically people will just say something, 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 go, hesoyo, right? Since mar is optional. And this means I said, even though it doesn't have the word mal. I'd say most of the time people don't necessarily add this mal. So it's just something, something. Hesoyo. I said, like, shigani optago. I said there's no time. Shigani optago. Hesoyo. Or just shigani optago. There's another verb that people commonly use. <clears throat> and that is, you probably have heard this. Kuroda. You might not know this verb, but I'm sure you've heard it being used. Kuroda conjugated becomes kureo. This is not the same. Okay, before I, I got to stop you. This is not the same as kureo that you normally hear. Like kureo, yeah, that's so. Kureo, kuresoyo, it's, it was like that. This is a different verb that just so happens to have the same conjugation in the yo form. So be careful with that. So kureo in the present tense or kuresoyo in the past tense you know, basic conjugation. This works the same with the, the same form. And this also means to say. But this form, kuroda, kuroda, using this verb kuroda, this form actually means to say so. To say so. To say so, to say that. So it's pretty much the same meaning as marhada, but it's only, I'd say, in only informal. It's not, I don't mean informal as in rude. I mean informal as in it's not formal. So it's not super polite, but it's not rude. Just, I wouldn't use this for like a script uh, if you're like going to give a speech to someone or something. But it's okay for most regular usage and it's much more common than hada, I'd say. <clears throat> so, optago kuresoyo. 
없다고 말했어요. 없다고 했어요. I said that there is none. None. So 시간이 없다고 말했어요. 시간이 없다고 했어요. 시간이 없다고 그랬어요. 시간이 있다고 그랬어요. Whatever you want to say. <웃음> 하라고 그랬어요. I said do it. 하자고 그랬어요. I said let's do it. 하냐고 그랬어요. 뭐 시간이 있냐고 그랬어요. I said is there any time? Like that. So this is very useful. You can use this for any form just like you could use 말하다 to say. And it's also very common. So let's see. If you wanted to say, for example, oh, I just got, hold on. Whoa, okay, 52, 52 Bunker. I'm, I'm getting used to your name now. <laughs> 52 Bunker. Thanks again for the lesson. A little extra than usual because I fell asleep during last week's lesson. <laughs> Did you fall? Oh, that's because, uh, yeah, my power outage. That was horrible. 52 Bunker. Ten, oh, awesome. Thank you. And Sam Strongarm. Thanks again. Not much, but should buy a coffee. Yes, I'll, I'll buy another one of these uh, caffeine drinks. I have a bunch of those now. I started, I started doing caffeine before these lessons. And it's, it's kind of it's helpful. Stronger. Every time, every time I see your name, though, I think of uh, Strong Bad. Okay. <clears throat> Thanks, both of you guys. <clears throat> 52 Bunker, getting used to that name now. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's just check here. Hey, Billy, does this work? 저는 제가 했냐고 물어보자고 하지 말라고 말했어요. 저는 제가 했냐고 물어보자고. So I said, let's ask, did I do it? I said, don't say, let's ask, did you do it? Yeah, it works. It works. So I said, don't say, let's ask, did I do it? I grammatically, yes. Um, a Korean would understand it the same way I am. It would be like, I guess so, but it, it, it's completely weird. But grammatically, yes, it works. Definitely because of him. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, yeah, that's one thing I wanted to say is that this is also really common. So you could say, um, let me just give one more example. Ah, oh, this marker, these new markers work so much better. I should, uh, maybe I'll just switch all of them to that. Okay, so you could say like, Chicken. So this is just the word for chicken, like chicken that you eat, not the animal. So chicken i optago. You can say hesoyo or mal hesoyo, right? Or kuresoyo. And it also works in, in casual speech. So if you're talking with your close friend, you don't have to say kuresoyo, you can say kureso. Kuresoyo. And this verb, kuroda, is also used by itself completely. So this is the benefit of this form. So malhada by itself just means to say. So if someone said, hey, did you say? Or like, what did they say? Or what did, or, you know, did you say something? You wouldn't be able to just say, ne malhesoyo. Yes, I said it. It kind of sounds awkward. Malhada typically only works together with what you're saying. So I'll say that again. 말하다, meaning to say, is typically only used together with what it is that you're saying. The word is not used by itself to say. But 그러다 literally means to say that, to say that thing or to say so. So you can use 그러다 by itself. You can say 네, 그랬어요. I said it. He said it. She said it. 그랬어요. He did. He did that. He said that. Ellen Fritch, thanks for all the feedback. Yeah, you're welcome. Anytime. I like providing you guys feedback because... uh. That tells me if I did a good job teaching or not. Ellen Fritch, thank you. I think this is actually the uh, longest list of don donors that I've gotten for any live stream so far. I've, it's not the most I've gotten for like money wise, but I think this is the longest list for the number of people. That's really cool. Yeah, thanks all of you guys. Yegihesoyo. Yes, so you can say other verbs by themselves, like yegi hesoyo and others, but malhada specifically is not used by itself. So if you wanted to say just, oh yeah, I said that, you have, a, you have two options. You can say either, oops, I just killed Sam. Let's fix Sam. Okay, you could say either kuroke malhada, which means to say so. To say so, like to say that, 
Like, yeah, 그렇게 말했어요. That's what I said. I said so, literally. Or 그러다 means to say so. So you can say 그러다, which would be, you know, 그랬어요. So 그랬어요 means I said so. 그렇게 말했어요. 그랬어요 is actually, it's not, it's not exactly a shortening of 그렇게 말하다, but it comes from a similar origin as saying 그렇게 말하다. So to say so means 그랬어요. So it's the exact same thing. So you can use this by yourself. So if someone just says, oh, 시간이 없다고요? Right, this is a tie-in to our lesson. 시간이 없다고요? Did you say you don't have any time? You don't have to say, 네, 그렇게 말했어요. Or, and you can't say, 네, 말했어요. That doesn't make any sense. But you could say, 그랬어요. 네, 그랬어요. Or casually, 어, 그랬어. I did say that. So that's a really quick way to, to reply. Yes, I said that. Or, <clears throat> um, yeah, <clears throat> that's pretty much it for today's lesson. I had some more examples, but like I said, due to time, I had to cut them out. But they will be in this uh, summary, which will be on Patreon for everyone who's Patreon member. So even the $1 tiers get that. I'm magical, Billy. I bring people together. Awesome. So we are actually done with today's lesson, and we only went 10 minutes over, which was due to the YouTube chat. So the lesson's finished. Let me just erase this. And I'm going to take some of your questions just for, I'll say, five, ten minutes maximum. And then we'll finish the stream. Next week's stream will be again Sunday, same time. And the last stream for this season one, I think, will be December 16th. So we'll still keep doing a live stream every week. And then I'll take a break. And during the break, I said this before, but I'll be uploading abridged versions. So edited versions of all of these live streams, typically like 10 to 20 minutes. I'd say 20 minutes for each one so that you can review those. Carminas, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. 좋은 하루 되세요. YouTube user 9, thanks. In, as in English, Korean has direct and indirect speech or they just say like that? Um, can you give me an example of Kaylon? What, what you mean? I can, give you a, I can give you a better answer. 감사합니다. 선생님, 수고하셨습니다. Unicorn makes are nice. Are exclamations and statements the same in Korean? Yeah. You would say uh, exclamation because it would, be a, it would be considered a statement. Like you're saying... Yay! Or you're saying, wow. Um, but how would you quote an exclamation in English? You would just say, I said, wow. But now if you quote it, as soon as you quote an exclamation, it loses that exclamatory uh, value. So if you're like, wow, say, what'd you say? I said, wow. Then it's kind of like it kills the mood. So it might be better to just, instead of saying, wow, instead of saying that, it might be better to just say, wow, again. Right? So be careful about that. They said, I like it. Indirect. They said they liked it. That's right. In Korean, it is the same thing. In Korean, it's all direct. So, 좋아한다고 말했어요. 좋아한다고, I like it. Or they like it. 말했어요. They said they liked it. Or, I, they said I like it. It's the same thing in Korean. In Korean, that's how quoting works. Is Quoting is the actual thing that they said. Exactly word for word, except the ending is what they said. And then you just change the ending. So that would be, you know, if it's a statement or a question or whatever. Will there be another quotation form live stream? Nope, this is actually all the quotation form basics that you need to know. Um, you can feel free to ask other questions about it, but that's all the basics. There aren't any other quotation forms that you need to learn. The only thing you could expand upon this would be, I would say, is more verbs to use at the end. But I did cover all of the major things you need to know for all of for all four quoting forms, as well as exceptions for them, conjugation, uh, most of the basic verbs to use, rules for how to use the subject and topic markers for quoting. That's pretty much everything. Kureo would be I say that in present tense, but only when it's used in quoting, because there is another verb that's actually kurota, so it looks similar to kuroda, but it's con it's conjugated the same. That also means kureo. I mean, that also becomes kureo. But that's a different kureo, which just means yes, like okay, like that's okay, or so, I see, like that. Kureo, like okay. But that's different kureo. This one's a different verb that just conjugates the same and means I say so, or kuresoyo, I said so. There's no indirect quoting. Yeah, you don't have to worry about indirect quoting. So again, just remember everything within quotes, which is everything before ko. Imagine that's exactly what they said. 
Like if I said, hey, I don't want to go to the store tomorrow. I have lots of work to do. Then when you make the quoting, it's the exact same thing. He said, I don't want to go to work tomorrow. I have a lot of stuff to do. Then you finish it with, with the plain form or whatever form you want and then cool. So all you do is you change the very end and then that makes it into a quote. So you repeat exactly what they said or exactly what you want to say that they said. You don't have to worry about like, he said that he doesn't have any time to go to his school. You know, you don't have to do all of that like you do in English. All you do is he said, I don't have time to go to school. You know, you don't have to mix anything up. So it's much easier, I think, in Korean to do quotes than in English. Apart from old people, can anyone use... Uh, old people don't use the law form either because it's considered rude. There's a different law form that you can use for just making commands, like for your friends, but that's not this one. This law form is not just an older form for older people. It's actually more of an archaic form. And if you use the law form these days, just with, without quoting, if you just say, hara, kara, it's rude. It's very rude. And old people know that it's rude too. It's not just an old sounding form. It's old and rude. And you'll only really find it in like, I'd say stuff written before the 1900s, uh, the Korean translation of the Bible, you know, thou shalt not do, they, they, all of those are hajimala, something, you know, do not do it with the law form. Other than that, no, it's only exclusively used within quoting now. Do it. <laughs> you should find a structured grammar course from a reliable source and follow it to make sure you cover all the basics. Yeah. Will you ever have a live stream about passive verbs? If you guys, if you guys want, I could. That could be something for live stream for season two. What's your favorite number? Um, I don't know. I don't know if I have a favorite number. I guess seven. Seven's a good number because it's lucky. And in Korean, it's it's a good number too. Chi, chi. It's a pretty good number, I'd say. Lucky. Um, yeah, just general good lucky number. I don't know if I really have a favorite number, but I, I guess I'd have to say seven if I had to pick one. Nice, nice. How's your family doing? Pretty good. I have some suggestions to give on Discord. Oh, yes. Okay, so I'll finish the stream now, but check up Discord. So join the Discord and you can participate in there. Any suggestions for the live stream? Feel free to post them in there for next week's lesson if there's something you want to learn about. Or if you have questions about today's live stream that you didn't get an answer to, ask it there. And I'll, if I'm in the chat, I'll try to reply to you guys there. That's my favorite number two, and it's a bonus that is <laughs> BTS again. Uh, I, hey, Monk, did I say seven? I meant, uh, I meant 5,972 5, is my favorite number. <laughs> hey, Hemong, you're spoiling me. No, but I, I, people have asked me that before. Like, what's your favorite number? Like, it's such a random question that to have a favorite number. But I guess seven. I think seven's a good number. It's lucky and it's not bad in Korean. There's some numbers that are bad in Korean, like the number four. Four in Korean is very unlucky because four in Korean comes from hanja. So it comes from Chinese. That means it's pronounced as si, I think, in Mandarin. But in Korean, this is pronounced as sa. And the Korean number for four also is pronounced as sa. Although the, the, what do you call it? The tone in Chinese is originally different. The sound is still the same in Korean. So sa, sa. So sa kind of seems like death, which is also oh, having a, oh, I can't remember the character for death right off the top of my head. I can, I can identify, I can't write it. Anyway, the character for death, just pretend it says death in, Kore in Hanta, is also sa, like samang is, means a death. So in when Korean people hear four, it kind of reminds them of like death. So that's why you won't find elevators with the number four very commonly. Usually they'll just say F for four instead of writing the number four. Uh, you won't find an apartment number that's, you know, four, 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 four. Four, 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 four is the absolute unluckiest number in Korean. Four fours. And also if you knock on someone's door, don't do it four times three times or five times. So typically three. So if a if uh, you go to Korea and you knock on a door, it'll always be three times or, you know, two times, three times or five times. But Koreans know this. They're not going to knock. If they knock four, they're going to quickly add another one because it's just kind of like bad luck, like 13. But they're more superstitious about it. I was hoping you wouldn't say a high number. 
five nine seven two one. Is that really how much five nine seven two one is in in uh, dollars right now with the exchange rate? <laughs> yeah, and that's the same reason Japanese also doesn't do it. I believe China it's also probably an unlucky number in China too for the same reason. Five thirty one. Thanks. I tried to trick you, but. Um, and I know if I say some giant number like 8,000 million, you're going to be like Zimbabwe money is like $3 in that currency or something, something like dumb like that. But <laughs> thank you. <laughs> you don't have to spoil me so much. I'll do these lessons for free anyway. Okay. I should probably end the stream before she actually gives me Zimbabwe money. Um, thanks guys. For, oh, let's see. If you want to say multiple quotes, like I said, this and this, how do you link them? Oh, you would just link it into one sentence. So what is it that you want to say? Like you want to say, um, Chersu is smart and Yongi is pretty, right? Chersu ga tokada is smart. So you just do tok tok. And then how do you normally connect two parts? Remember, anything you want to say is within the quote. So you just make the full sentence. Tok tok hago. Young Iga or Young Inan, whatever you want to do. Yepuda. So Yepuda. And then Ko. Sorry, it should be at the end of here, but there's no room. And then Marhesoyo. Or whatever you want to say. Marhesoyo. Chersu ga tokokago, Young Iga, Yepuda go marhesoyo. Did you say Chersu is smart and Young Yi is pretty? And that's it. You don't have to do anything special. You just make the sentence. Everything you say verbatim, just change the ending. So this is plain form, which just so happens to be the same as the dictionary form because it's a descriptive verb. So yeah, that's all you have to do. Uh, okay, so I think that's it. So yeah, go ahead and check out the, um, <laughs> they use US dollar now, I'm afraid. I am sure Ahi Mung does not have like $7 million in US money, so that I'm safe. Okay, thanks everyone for coming. Um, if you have more questions, please join the Discord. It's getting more active now and it's, it's great. And I will see you guys again next Sunday. Make sure to remember to vote on Tuesday when we do voting. Take care. Krum, tame toba.